Hi everybody, it's Nick. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, two things today, human connection and transformation, organisational transformation. Now you might think they're two different subjects, but actually I don't think they are. I think they're inextricably linked. I think they're, they're two halves of a coin. So, um, you know, I've spent most of my life uh, being involved in transformation projects. Um, on the whole, absolutely love it. I had a wonderful career. I uh, had some really great times, worked with some fantastic people. Uh, it was a real privilege to be able to be involved in some of the change that I was involved in. But equally, um, you know, we can all go on until the cows come home about different methodologies, different reasons for doing it, different structures, all the rest of it. But honestly, the bottom line comes down to people. So when I think of the two, um, two of the biggest transformations I've been involved in, one was hell and one was heaven. That is the only way to describe it. And the one that was hell was hell because um, actually, and the person at the helm really viewed us as uh, we were numbers, we were bodies, uh, we were labour, we were transactions, we were there to um, get as much out of for as little as possible. We were there to um, work every hour God sends, um, the, 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 the slightest deviation from the plan, the slightest mistake, the, you know, you, you don't say you don't know, you didn't know something because you know, the consequences were um, appalling. It was a truly toxic environment, one of, um, I think, the most toxic environment I've ever been in. And all of my energy and time was not spent on making the transformation a success. It was spent on getting myself off that project because had I not got off it, I would have left that career and I would have gone into something different. Um, it was that bad. And it wasn't just that bad for me, it wasn't a personal thing, it was for everybody involved. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know how other people cope, but I've never seen so many stressed, overworked, unhappy people in one place in my life. Um, and therefore, it was not something that made your heart sing. Um, I don't think it was something for me that I was particularly proud of. It, it certainly wasn't my best work, it was work that was produced under an enormous amount of pressure. And... Um, you know, I, I I was lucky, you know, I'm, um, it sounds quite egotistical, it's not meant to, but you know, um, consulting was just something I was born to do. So, um, you know, even under that kind of pressure, I was able to deliver the goods, but at a great personal cost. On the other hand, you know, I had heaven another time, which was again, a, a really, really large piece of transformation. Um, but uh, I was uh, more senior by this point. So I was able to have more influence about uh, the type of culture uh, and where I wanted things to be. Now it wasn't perfect, but actually it was a hell of a lot better than where I'd been. Um, and it meant that, you know, I saw, I saw the team that worked with me as, as, as people with lives. It was equally as important to play as well as work with them. It was equally as important to understand their um, personal fears and aspirations as well as their professional ones. It was important to make time for them, not just to talk about the solution, but also to talk about what was frustrating them and you know what was, um, what was getting them down. And it was actually really important to be able to sit in a room and be able to say, when I didn't know the answer to something and work collaboratively to actually work the answer out. And therefore all of my energy and time went into making that the very best job, the very best project, the very best team, the very best of everything that I possibly could. And it came from the heart and I enjoyed it. I built some great relationships um, and the work we did was significantly better quality because it wasn't just about our expertise, but it was completely our, you know, heart, minds and souls were engaged. So, you know, when we talk about human connection and transformation, we're not talking about two different things. We're talking about the same thing. If you want, you know, decent, good, genuine um, organisational transformation, original or, you know, creative thought with people who are truly engaged, then you really need to look after your people and no amount of processes or restructuring or methods or, or any of the rest of it is ever going to replace those very, very basic um, ingredients that have to be the foundations you build upon. just wanted to share that today and I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.